Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And on this channel we talk about female concealed carry, self-defense, self-protection, and lots of other stuff. So I'm really glad you're here to join me today where I'm gonna be talking about why I think women should carry guns for personal protection. I decided to do this video is because some of you have specifically asked me for it and I think that one reason why is because you have women in your life that you care about whether it's your sister your mom your cousin your girlfriend your wife your daughter and you care about these women and maybe they've just never thought about personal protection or carrying a gun for self-defense if that's the case thank you for sharing this video and I hope that it's a little bit enlightening and eye-opening for those people Another reason I wanted to do this video is because I've seen comments on my videos that say things like, why do you need to carry a gun? Do you really live in a place that's so dangerous that you need to carry a gun everywhere you go? And to them I say yes, and I will explain to you why. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I try to do one a week, usually on Thursdays or Fridays, but I went fishing last week in Vermont with Mac, my boyfriend, and we did pretty well. I'm gonna throw some pictures in here just to kind of brag a little bit, but that's why I didn't put a video up last week, so I'm gonna try to do maybe two this week just to make up for that. But let's get started with this video and why I think women should carry guns for personal protection. So the first reason, and probably the biggest reason for me psychologically, is because I hate the thought of you becoming a victim as a woman just because you're a woman. And the reality is that we live in a different world than men. We experience the world differently as women. And there's a really good quote that I use to illustrate this point in my classes. It's in this book, The Gift of Fear. I have this in my Amazon storefront if you wanna check it out. I'll link my storefront below. You can check out all my favorite gear and stuff, but I also have a books category and this is in there. So the quote in the book says, most men fear getting laughed at or humiliated by a romantic prospect while most women fear rape and death. And that sounds pretty extreme, doesn't it? But in my experience as a woman in this world, I think that that's true. I think that I fear things that my boyfriend never really thinks about. When I go walking by myself and I see a man and there's no one else around, the thought crosses my mind and I'm aware that if that man chose to, he could probably try to victimize me. The unfortunate reality is that we live in a world that's not perfect. And I believe that God made us with free will, which means that there's goodness and also evil in the human heart. And we need to be prepared to deal with the evil part as well as the good. I went through a situation a few years ago where someone made me feel like a victim. I was victimized. And if you've ever gone through something like that, it makes you feel like they've taken something from you, like they've stolen something from you without your permission, and it's just a terrible feeling. I don't want anybody else to experience that because it's not fair and it shouldn't happen. It does happen, but it shouldn't. So I think that if you carry a gun, it's going to give you a say in what happens to you. You don't get to choose when and where someone tries to victimize you, but you do get to choose how you respond to it. And if you have a tool like a gun, it increases your chances of being able to defend yourself and have a say. And that way you won't be totally defenseless if someone tries to victimize you. And of course, it's important to know when you can use a gun. They're not the appropriate response to every threat. Some threats might require less than lethal force. But if someone's going to try to rape you or kill you, you shouldn't have to be a victim to someone else's desires, you should have a say in what happens to you. And I truly believe that in my heart. The second reason why I think women should carry guns for personal protection is because men are statistically bigger and stronger than us. I think that women and men are complementary. We can do things that they can't and they can do things that we can't. And that's what makes us work together so well. But it also means that women can be victimized by men because of their size and it's an unfortunate reality, but it's something that we need to be honest with ourselves about. And that's why they call guns the great equalizer between men and women, because a tool like this gives me the opportunity to fight back where my body would not normally allow me to because I'm smaller and weaker than a man. So my dad and I used to watch 
Discovery Channel and Animal Planet all the time when I was little. We loved watching nature shows together. And if you watch those shows, they can actually teach you a lot about predator and prey. So in one of my classes that I teach for women, I like to show this image right here of a baby gazelle being chased down by a cheetah. You can see here that the baby gazelle has no way to defend itself other than to try to run away. It's trying to run, but we all know that cheetahs are really fast, so it might not work out for that little baby gazelle. But then I like to show this picture here that shows a lion staring at a porcupine. The difference here between the prey is that the porcupine has a way to defend itself. It has quills that make the lion think twice about victimizing it. If you arm yourself with some sort of defensive tool, you're giving yourself a better chance than just not having anything at all. The third reason is that there are other people who might be relying on you to be able to defend yourself or defend them. As a woman, you might have your own kids, you might have little brothers or sisters or nieces and nephews, little kids that you care about that are under your care. And that means that you need to be able to defend them. There's a video that I like to show in my classes that shows a mother. She was sitting in her house watching cartoons with her little three or four year old daughter. A man breaks into her home and just starts beating the crap out of her. It's so hard to watch, but it's also really important to see that these things can happen at any time, even in the safety of your own home in the mid middle of the morning. It's like 10.30 in the morning. And he's beating her in front of her little kid who's crying, hiding behind a pillow. And thankfully she survived. He just wanted her jewelry and to beat her up. It's really hard to watch, but it's also important to know that there are other people who might be depending on you to have a way to defend yourself or defend them. And I don't think any of you ladies out there, especially moms, I don't think you'd want your kids to have to be victims to a violent crime. Seriously think about what happens when you're out in the world and something bad happens when your kids are around. Okay, the fourth reason is because crime happens everywhere, no matter where you are. If you're in a safe neighborhood, if you're in an unsafe neighborhood, if you're walking through the woods, if you're walking through the city, if you live in a place where there's zero crime and it's totally safe all the time, please let me know because I don't know of such a place. I don't think that that place exists, not in this world. I've mentioned this before because one of the biggest reasons why I do these videos and why I started this channel is because of stories like the ones you hear where women go running and then they're murdered or raped, or victimized, and it just really makes me angry in my core. Like, I cannot hear those stories without my blood boiling because I just imagine those women going out for exercise and someone taking advantage of them, taking their life, making them a victim, and these women have no way to defend themselves. And I just wish that I could inject myself back in time into those situations and hand them one of these because I guarantee that they would take it. Anyway, back to my point, these things happen everywhere. Vanessa Marcotte was a woman who was killed while she was out for a run in Princeton, Massachusetts. Princeton's a town with a very low crime rate, very small, small town, safe neighborhood, safe town, but she was running and someone, a man saw her and decided that he wanted to rape and murder her and that's exactly what he did. She didn't have any way to defend herself and now she's gone and it's awful. You know, she was in a safe neighborhood, like I said. And then you have Wendy Martinez. She was running in Washington DC in the city on a very busy street with people and restaurants and all of this other stuff around. And a man saw her and stabbed her to death. You know, she didn't have a say in that and it's terrible. Those things really make me mad. Crime happens everywhere. And the last reason why I think women should carry a gun for personal protection is because you're the one that's going to be there. You are the first responder, as they say. You're the one that's gonna be there if something bad happens. The police might respond afterwards to pick up the pieces of what happened, but you're the one that's there. You are the first one. You're gonna be there and you're the one that can defend yourself. Have the confidence to be able to trust yourself, to have your life in your own hands to have your safety in your own hands. And I don't think that a gun is a magical tool that's just gonna fix all your problems all the time by itself. You need to have the training and the mentality to be able to use it. Deciding to carry a gun is a very serious decision. It's a commitment. It means that you're gonna get training, you're gonna get educated on how to use it, go to classes frequently, not just in the beginning, and you're gonna keep up your training so that you can use this if you ever need to. But it's your life, 
you're gonna be the one that's responsible to take care of yourself. So take it seriously, really think about it. If you've never thought about carrying a gun before and you're watching this video right now, please just think about your life and think about all the people that are counting on you to stay alive because I guarantee that there are people who would miss you if you were gone. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. Please share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. I know that there are women in your life that you care about who you want to be able to defend themselves if something bad happens to them. So please share this video with as many people as you can who you think would find it helpful. And please make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video because it really helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, bye.